Hello and welcome to the FLNG News Brief. I'm AJ Artley. This week we're at Camp Blanding where members of the 53rd were doing some annual training. We're going to start off at the airfield where members of the 53rd Special Troops Battalion were getting ready to launch the unmanned aerial vehicle. AV ignition switch off, battery switch on. I have over uh, 600 hours in the system. Where we're actually considered operators, we're not pilots because we don't actually get in the aircraft and fly. It's important to remember that uh, all the training that you do now is for preparation for when you actually need to provide good battlefield surveillance for the commanders. So before you can hand one of these to Colonel Hill, the commander of the 53rd, it all starts here, where just like any flight crew, pre-flight inspections have to be done. The training, is, they have to maintain a currency, so the soldiers need to put the aircraft in operation. set up the airfield. They went. All right. Wait, wait there. Down. Brake strap, one tractor pull clamp engaged. Run through startup procedures. And then actually launch the aircraft. You ready to launch? And once the aircraft is up in the air, they go through a series of other training tasks they must accomplish. The, uh, the left side is where the aircraft is actually controlled in flight. And here is the ground data terminal. It's how we control the actual aircraft, the uh, system that talks to it. So while the aircraft circles the skies of Camp Blanding, the two operators are collecting images from the onboard camera. Yeah. That way you can get uh, good real-time intelligence for the warfighter. And the, the guys who have the, the boots on the ground, because no matter what you do, we're always here for them. Now we're outside the St. Francis Barracks here at the Cannons. They've been on display here since about 1885. They date back about 150 years. What we're going to do now is we're going to go back out to Camp Blanding, where the 2nd of the 116th fired their modern day equivalent of these. And uh, so to end this week, we just hope you enjoy the sounds of freedom. We'll see you next week.